So, uh, Jordan, let's talk about your character because you've become uh, a favela rooftop jumping badass. Yeah. This one was the most fun for me because in the past, me has been, you know, more of a girl. She's been more docile and vulnerable. And it was really important for Justin to make the characters really, the female characters especially, really strong. And, and I wanted to be in it, doing the action. And, and there was one day I came to set and there was a harness in my trailer. And I was like, what is that for? And it was for a 30 foot jump. And, and, it was just, it was so gratifying to be able to do that, to finally be able to do the action. And not just the stunt driving, but just, you know, literally jumping off roofs. It was so much fun. And, you know, bringing all these characters back to join you guys. I mean, it's not just like, just to bring them back, just to bring them back. They all have a really important job to do, and it's, they kind of have a really fleshed out. They do, and they, and they each serve, you know, a really important purpose. Like, I think, um, I think Tyrese brings a lot of the comic relief, which I think is really important, because everything can get so intense with the non-stop action and each set piece is so huge and and all all the action it's like each action sequence outdoes the other one and then and then with Tyrese and and the and the group scenes it's just a little bit of comic relief which is which can be really good as well so let's talk about that action because you know I think audiences can tell the difference these days green screen whatever I mean it's mm -hmm. cool this is almost all it is all real yeah 200 cars were smashed 200 cars were smashed we had a bunch of different units going at once like we'd be like oh the arizona units doing this and look at what they accomplished to, to you know today and and it was the train unit and um and the train sequence is insane i mean and then and then justin got more funding from the studio to do the the bus bus crash in the beginning which i won't say much about because it it reveals a lot, but it was just, it was amazing what Justin was able to accomplish with this movie. So along with all that action, we were talking earlier, the characters and your character, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of emotion. Family is very, very important in this one. Yeah, I think I think that's partially why why the fans keep coming back, because at the core of the franchise is is a sense of family and loyalty, and, and yes, the, the characters do need money and they do pull off a huge heist. Um, but they only come together and coalesce in Brazil because they are so loyal to one another. And, and there is that sense of family and loyalty amongst this group. And so this is the fifth one. It must feel really good to, to know that it's so good. It does feel really good to know it's so good. And it also feels really good to work with actors that I've worked with for so long. It, it feels really, really nice. And let's quickly talk about uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, his addition. I mean, he plays this part. You haven't seen it yet. He plays this part. He's insane. He is, he's, and he's such a charismatic, wonderful person, and I, I was a fan of his from the beginning, so to know that I was going to be able to be in a movie with him was, was such a gift. I mean, this franchise just keeps on growing, and, and every time I'm in one of these movies, it's like, you know, they're... There he is, we're just talking about you. <laughs> Case in point, I mean, they're, they're just, you know, it's just like, they're just such, they're such a gift in, in yeah. these movies, so, yeah. That's what you get with uh, with with Dwayne. He's just he's just a great fun guy, and that's what, what that's what it's like on set. It's just a fooling around, you know. It's just fun.